Let us explore a topic that has the potential to change your life, the importance of making and keeping commitments. As Napoleon Hill famously stated, a goal is a dream with a deadline. So let's join forces and discover the key to realizing your aspirations and building the life you have always dreamed of. We live in a world filled with distractions and losing sight of our goals is easy. As a result, many people find themselves struggling financially and emotionally. But as the great Nelson Mandela put it, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Commitments are your path to triumph, your roadmap to success. Think about it. The most successful people in history, from Thomas Edison to Oprah Winfrey, all shared one thing in common, an unwavering commitment to their goals. They stuck to their commitments like glue, even in the face of adversity. An international motivational speaker, Les Brown, argues that many people fail to achieve their goals due to poor time management and failure to stick to commitments. However you spend your time, that tells you who you are. So think about what it is you like to create in your life experience. Once I look at how you commit your time, once I do an evaluation on how you spend your time, I can tell you exactly what you're committed to. People that say they have dreams or want to open a business or want to do something differently than what they're now doing, they don't like their jobs, they're unhappy, they're unfulfilled. People who say they want to improve their income level, look at how they spend their time. How they spend their time, the commitment of their time, how they use that, that will really tell the truth. People who said, I'd like to do better, but you don't find them in vocational or technical schools upgrading their skills and their knowledge. How they spend their time, that will tell you what's going on. People who say they want to normalize their weight, they want to be healthy, but every time you see them, they're eating. That will tell you that they're committed to being obese for the rest of their lives. People tell you they want to stop smoking and they're lighting up at that time. Folk that say, I want to stop drinking, and every time you're in their face, they're reeking with alcohol, that will tell you what's going on. Don't have to listen to what they say, just watch what they do. Commitment shows up in your life in what you do. On the other hand, you can make the commitment to your life that you don't like the results that you have, and that you're going to do something about it. See, that power is available to all of us. People who look at life and decide, I want something different for myself. Carol Hatfield. Carol lives in Detroit, single mother, decided that she wanted to go into her own business, did not have enough money to do it. She wanted to have a health food store. She sold her car and used the money to start in a little storefront, a little hole in the wall. She rode to work on a bicycle. And then when she got enough money, she, she bought a motor scooter and did that for a long time. She's now a very successful person. She now has three health food stores. She said it was hard, it's a struggle, Les. She said, but I did it. She said, I made the commitment to do it, and I did it. Why is it that people are frightened by commitment? Because when you say the word commitment, that intimidates a lot of people. Why? Because it means you have to deliver. See, most people, you ask them, hey, look here, I'd like for you to do this. And they'll say, I'll try. I'll try means that is my escape clause. When I don't come through, it's really a polite no. I don't have the courage to tell you no, so I'll tell you I'll try. Hey, look here, I need you to come to this meeting. I'll try. I say, what do you mean? You're going to lean toward the meeting? <laughs> try and sit down. You either do or you don't. Try and take this pencil out of my hand. You either do or you don't. There's no such thing as try. So most people like to use that language. They don't want to commit themselves because commitment means, among many things, no excuse is acceptable. That's what it means, no excuse, that if you decided that you're going to do this, if it becomes hard, then do it hard. If it's difficult, so what? If it's inconvenient, so what? See, a lot of people made a commitment to come here tonight, but they looked outside and said, it's raining. The temperature dropped. It's cold outside, and they decide to give up on their commitment. And that's how people do about their dreams. 
They don't honor their commitment to themselves. Let me tell you what happens when you when you don't keep your commitment. Number one, it begins to deplete your, your self-esteem and it erodes your self-image. It weakens your faith in yourself. You don't feel good when you don't keep your commitments. The other thing is that you begin to develop weak relationships with people. People begin to realize they can't depend upon you. They can't rely on you because you won't keep your word. You've established that kind of reputation. Just think, what would your life be like if you decided to keep your commitments? What will all of our lives be like if we decided to keep our commitments? That we decided to do the things that we said that we were going to do? That we wouldn't even speak it unless we were going to do it? If we decided just for a week, just see what your life can be like. Just let's do it for a commitment to make, make it a seven day commitment that I won't say I will do anything unless I'm going to do it. And find out what your life will be like. Let me tell you what, if you follow it through, if you keep your commitment to the commitment, at the end of the seven days, you'll feel strong and powerful. Let's explore the ripple effect of making and sticking to commitments. Imagine you have committed to a daily exercise routine. At first, it's challenging, but you become fitter and healthier over time. That commitment then spills over into other areas of your life. Your newfound discipline leads to increased productivity at work, your energy levels soar, and you start climbing the corporate ladder. Soon enough, your commitment transforms your financial situation, and you live a life you once only dreamed of. So, how can you make and stick to commitments? Let us hear again from motivational speaker Les Brown. Have some friends that will hold you accountable, that won't let you off the hook, that won't tolerate anything less than the best from you. People that will support you in this new way of being, in this new state of consciousness. The other thing is that important is have a contingency plan. See, many times when you make a commitment to do something, there are some other variables that will happen that you can't control or you perhaps did not think about. So you want to have some other plans going on. You want to become creative. See, most people don't keep their commitments because when something goes wrong, they just stop. They don't have a contingency plan. So they don't know what to do next. Start being creative. If you challenge yourself, many times they say, I don't know what to do. And I always ask myself, but if you did know what to do less, what will it be? That activates another part of my mind. I start thinking about the possibilities and just experimenting. But many, many of us just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself, push yourself, make yourself come up with something. Use your imagination. And what you will find is that you know more than you realize that you know. That you're more creative and more resourceful than you realize that you are. And as you do that, the more you do it, the easier it will become. At first, it's going to be a struggle. And after you get into a certain level of consciousness, you will ask yourself, I, how is it that I didn't see this before? Let's explore two other strategies that can make all the difference. First, set SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Break your big dreams into smaller, actionable steps. This makes your commitments clear and manageable. Second, visualize your success. Create a vivid mental picture of achieving your goals. This not only keeps you motivated, but also reinforces your commitment every day. The power of making and sticking to commitments cannot be overstated. It's the key that unlocks the doors to your dreams and transforms your life. Remember, as Napoleon Hill wisely said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So let's make those commitments, stick to them, and watch our lives transform. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more inspiring content, and share your commitment stories in the comments down below. Together, we will achieve greatness. Keep dreaming, keep believing, and keep achieving.